What's the deal, my people? You know it is Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you with another one. And this one is, Will Daenerys be betrayed by Tyrion for love? Now, I know this might seem crazy to some people, but I promise if you give me a couple of minutes, I will explain to you exactly why this is definitely a possibility. And also know that since I'm putting out new Game of Thrones videos every day, you should hit that subscribe and like button so that you are notified every time that I upload a new video. In the Dance with Dragons, the so-called shadow binder from a shy named Quaith comes to Daenerys for the third time. Now we know she says that she's a shadow binder, but in the show she says something different. Do I know you? I know you. Jorah Mormont of Bear Island. Who are you? Oh, no one. Who taught you how to do that? No one. Now, whether she is a shadow binder or whether she is a faceless man, that is up for debate for another time. Now, during this third visit, she tells Danny that the glass candles are burning, and this is how she's able to communicate with Danny because glass candles allow the user to go inside the victim's dreams and then go and give visions to the dreamer. And this is exactly what she's doing to Danny at this particular time. Now, while in the dream, she says this to Danny Soon comes the pale mare, and after her, the others Kraken and Dark Flame, Lion and Griffin. The Sun Sun and the Mummer's Dragon. Trust none of them. Now some of these characters are not in the show. And this vision was not given in the show. But I do think it's relevant. And I think that we can match up the characters who are not casted in the show. With people who are casted in the show. So the important part about this vision is that Danny is is told not to trust any of these people that are coming into your life and it seems that Quaith is definitely on Danny's side from the books so why shouldn't she trust any of these people and who are these people so let's break that down first Kraken and Dark Flame now they're most likely Victorian Greyjoy and Makoro now since Victorian Greyjoy is not casted in the show we could easily substitute that for Euron Greyjoy or even Yara Greyjoy, since she does find her way to Daenerys. And these people are supposed to find their way to Daenerys. Dark Flame is Makoro, who is a red priest. Now, we don't have him in the show, but we do see Melisandre meet up with Daenerys. So it could be her that she is getting the warning about, and we can use her to fill that spot. Lion and Griffin. Now, without a shadow of a doubt, the lion that is being talked about here is Tyrion Lannister. So she is being warned not to trust Tyrion Lannister right off the bat. Now, the Griffin is a character named John Connington, but Jorah Mormont was giving John Connington's part in the show because John Connington is the one who catches Grayscale in the books. So we can substitute that easily for Jorah Mormont. Last, we have the Sun, Sun, and the Mummer's Dragon. Now, both of these people are not casted in the show. So, the Sun, Sun is Quentin Martell. He is the Sun, Sun, the Son of Dorn, Sun. And also, we have the Mummer's Dragon, who is Aegon. And Aegon is, in the books, is a fake Targaryen, someone pretending to be the son of Rhaegar Targaryen. But those aren't the people I'm interested to talk about right now in the books. The person I'm interested to talk about is Tyrion. So all the people on the list are people that Daenerys is going to run into, but she should not trust. But why is Tyrion on this list? I can see reason for everyone else being on the list, but I'm sure a lot of you fans are out there is like, why is Tyrion on this list? Now, we have another prophecy that we can kind of use to kind of help explain what's going on with Tyrion. Now, while in the House of the Undying, Daenerys also gets this warning. Three treasons will you know. Once for blood, once for gold, and once for love. And I think that it's possible that Tyrion could be connected to these treasons. Possibly Tyrion could be the treason for love. Now the first treason, the treason for blood, was Mary Mass there, and not for killing Cal Drogo, but for killing Danny's son, allowing Danny to miscarriage. That was her treason for blood. The next treason, once for gold, that was performed by Jorah Morma. And we hear in the show Quaithy say something about this to him. The dragons. Will you betray her again, Jorah the Undo?
Will you betray her again? Never. The last treason is the one that still has not been done. Not in the show and not in the books. And this is the once for love. And Tyrion could be the one treason for love. And love for what, you asked? Is he in love with Daenerys? I wouldn't think that. I would think it would be for love of his family, for love of his people. And we see kind of a foreshadowing of this in the last episode during the Field of Fire. We also hear the Dragon Queen Daenerys call Tyrion out on this herself, right in his face. Our enemies? Your family, you mean? Perhaps you don't want to hurt them after all. And we see the love he has for his brother when his brother's going to try to end the war and kill Daenerys. He's torn in between what's going on. He just doesn't want anything bad to happen to his brother. Free you. You idiot. You fucking idiot. Could Daenerys do something, or has the way Daenerys been acting, seeing all this damage and destruction being brought to his people, his family, the people that he loves, could that turn Tyrion against Daenerys and make him go to the other side? You let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think that Tyrion will turn on Daenerys? Are these reasonable thoughts who think that's possible that he will? Put it down in the comment section and let me know. And as always, if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up this, please spread this across the realm, and please subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace and stay sexy.